Hardwoods.com. This is Horribly Off Topic, episode number 235. I'm Chris. And I'm Steve. Let's talk about Portland. Okay. I, 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 you know, I went to Portland, uh, gosh, like... Uh, a month ago. Uh, more than a month ago. I think it was, I, went in, I went in March. We went through all of April. Didn't talk about it, really. The end of March or something? The, 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 not the Ides of March. No, was I there in the Ides of March? I don't think so. No, I think I went after my older daughter's birth or did i go before i don't know it might have been almost two months it's been a while that's crazy it's been a while and, and you know i know everyone has been listening they've been waiting with bated breath to hear us talk about portland especially this week because there's not that much you know going on we we we, we kind of took care of everything last week that we were supposed to t- this isn't working no no it's not fun. We, 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 we were going to talk last week to, to catch up anybody who's just joining us, your plan for last week was we were going to talk about the, um, the, the, the the then latest episode of Game of Thrones, uh, as well as Avengers Endgame. And when I showed up at your house on Monday, mm-hmm. a full, not quite 24 hours, but, but, but almost 24 hours since that episode of Game of Thrones had aired, I showed up and hadn't seen it. And and the fact that you even recorded with me is a testament to our friendship that you right. were able to power through. I was, and I didn't. I didn't say anything that happened, and yeah. like I might have alluded to things. Well, but you're a, you're a nice person. I'm I'm like I don't think you would have done that. I just I, all I'm saying is that I know I did allude. You did allude. How yes. many? Like a few. What? No, allude, not allude. Allude is uh, you know the ludes dude. Like anybody that's younger than us does not know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> I barely know. I mean, I know. I knew you've never taken Quaaludes, Chris. I've like, how taken, the fuck no, do no, you? No, no, no. But I, but I'm saying in terms of, I barely knew what. The Not hell that I they, have, but <laughs> I barely knew what the hell they were. I, I heard of them through Dennis Leary, and then I heard, uh, then they they play a part in uh, Almost Famous, which is a movie I've watched a whole bunch. So I've seen, well, I've seen what the Ludes dude can do to uh, Miss Penny Lane. That's that's all I'm gonna say. And it's not, it's not pleasant. Okay. Her toes, they could, oh gosh, when she, when they're trying to pump her stomach, it's not a, it's not a pretty, it's not pretty safe. Yeah, don't take lewds, kids. Yeah, like, I yeah. mean, I, I think you have more appropriate drugs for yeah. this day and age. Like, yeah. I mean, you know, if you. Like you, vape pens and, and Molly, I think is, is what the, the kids are on these days. Oh, Mo- Molly. Yeah. Molly. Okay. What's, what's Molly? I don't know. Oh. I think it's a club drug. Oh, okay. Well, those are the best kind, right? Uh-oh. It seems like the brownies are done. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so Steve, I, I so I, I'm sorry that I that I failed in my in my geekly duties, my, my podcasty duties in, in not um, watching the show before last week. That's fine. We gave our listeners an extra week to mm. not well, you know. Let's just say this right out of the gate. Yes. Like from this point on. Spoilers are fair game. Yeah. This is spoiler central. So like, like maybe put it in the notes. Yes. This is a whole fuckload of spoilers for the most recent Game of Thrones. Except that by the time this comes out. The prior recent episode. (laughs) Right. So I'll, I'll, I'll specify. The Battle of Winterfell. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. It's called no, no, no. It's called the the long night. The long, the long duck dong. The long, long duck dong. Game of Thrones. Uh, S S whatever. Getty e Watanabe whatever. was there, and he was fucking. He was in a tree, and he jumped down, and he killed the night king. <laughs> <laughs> He's just lurking. And then out he there. And then he turned the entire in. Time. And then he pulled <laughs> off his <laughs> face, and he was still him, but he was his character from UHF. So fucking Bran is there the entire time. And he's like, Theon, you're a great man. And, you know, if Theon had just stayed there for one second more, you know, what's his ass is uh, is right up there in the tree. So I guess he didn't really think Theon was that great a man. He was he sent Theon to his death unnecessarily. And he was like, hey, sexy girlfriend. <laughs> Because what's his butt was right up there in the tree, ready yep. to ready to ready to ready to put the drop on um on old uh, silent movie there. And then after he got stabbed, he was like, "Stupid! <laughs> You're so stupid!" <laughs> was I far enough away from the mic when I yes, did that? Okay, you, you were. That that was actually really good. Like it 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 didn't peak. Well, it it 
I don't know. It, so it peaked, but it didn't, um, I don't know. I don't know the words. It went up, but it didn't go up beyond, uh, you know, it wasn't on Molly or, or Lude. What, so. uh, <laughs> what else did Getty Watanabe star in? <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, should we look it up? Let's look it. Let's look it up because you know it's it, it's it's way better to do that than to talk about uh, talk Game about of Thrones and or Avengers. and or Avengers Endgame. Yeah, yeah I mean yeah. we gotta we gotta get ready uh, to talk. I mean we already spoiled the biggest thing of uh, that Kenny. What Kenny? No, Betty. Well, What's his name? Getty. Like Getty, Getty Watanabe. Yeah. Wat- 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 Getty Watanabe. Yes. Okay, let's see what else this let's let's has, let's let's d- in. delve into his filmography. Are we going uh, in reverse order, or are we we starting from uh, way back? Let's start from the the Hughes era of uh, okay, of, of so, sixteen candles. Wow, he's been way more prolific than I would have. Uh, I mean, he's never. I don't think he's ever been the guy. No, but just he's he's got. It's not like he stopped at any point. You know, like he he's got. I don't know. I don't see any big gaps between uh, Pacific Overtures in 1976, wow. where he played. How old was he then? He was like young in the 80s, wasn't he? He played priest, girl, and boy. Oh, um, I, I don't. <laughs> that, that sounds. Uh, he was born. Uh, oh my god! How old is he? He is older than my father. Wow. He's born June 26, 1955. Wow. Jesus. Um, Getty, we we never knew. We never knew. Yeah. So uh, so he was in Pacific Overtures. Um, does a couple other things. Like, um, let's do notable things. Maybe things. Yeah. That no. I, people I only, might know. I, yeah. I only wanted to bring up that because I was because I was intrigued by the uh, by the casting. Uh, so uh, sixteen candles in eighty four. Um, uh, he does a couple other things. Um, let's see. Does a TV series called Gung Ho. Uh, from 1986 to 1987. Wow, uh, a whole season. <laughs> yep, and then... That uh, must have uh, been a really successful series. <laughs> uh, uh, let's find the Blu-ray of Gung Ho. <laughs> uh, so he does UHF in 1989. Which, uh, those are the, the two biggies so far. Yep. Um, <laughs> if 19- you can call UHF a biggie. <laughs> 1990. I mean, I, I'm skipping over uh, You know he, his, his guest appearance on Murphy Brown um, <laughs> and Newhart. Uh, but then uh, we have Gremlins 2, the new batch. Uh, he was Mr. Katsuji. Oh, yeah, he was the... Uh, I mean, he was very good at playing a stereotype. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say. Um, he did a three, two, three-year stint on Sesame Street as Hiroshi. Okay. Uh, from 90 to 92. Uh, he was in Boys on the Side uh, in 1995. I have never heard of that. That was a... Um, uh, gosh, it was, uh, shit, I gotta open a new tab. Don't open a new tab. No, I'm gonna open a new tab, uh, cause I gotta remember. Oh, it's, um, uh, fucking, uh, Drew Barrymore, who was who I was trying to think of, but also has, uh, Mary Louise Parker and Whoopi Goldberg. But that was, like, before Drew Barrymore had her, like, comeback where she, uh, I like, think that was part of her comeback. That's why I was trying to remember it. That, oh. So it's 95, <laughs> and she, yeah, that's, that's, that's sort of the comeback. Yeah. Okay, that um, and then she like a couple of years later she did the wedding singer and some other shit. Yeah, but we're um, not talking about her right now. We're talking about Getty Watanabe. He was in That Thing You Do as the Playtone photographer. Okay, uh, which is a movie that I, I have watched a bunch. I did not realize he was in that. Did an episode of Seinfeld. Uh, he was on the Weird Al show for one episode in 1997. Well, I mean, I, I imagine he established a relationship with uh weirdo al mm. back in uh back in 1989 weirdo alfredo weirdo alfredo <laughs> can that be the episode <laughs> weirdo no alfredo no. um he was also that's what, if you go to like weird al's <laughs> restaurant <laughs> that's their the, signature dish can the, I have the, <laughs> the weirdo alfredo <laughs> um i did not know that he was a voice in mulan so he, Ken, Getty Watanabe is a, is a Disney uh, a cartoon. Um, let's see. Yeah, uh, I think I remember, like, Becky and I watched that very recently, actually, within mm. the last couple of months. And uh, and I, I think I remember seeing him in the credits as they were rolling. Yeah. Looks like he does uh, a lot of uh, voices. So he does uh, The Simpsons for a couple of years, a couple episodes of The Simpsons, Rugrats, uh, Batman Beyond, um, did... Uh, an episode of Sabrina the Teenage Witch. 
Uh, not the new one, not like su- no, not, not, not super n- Satan-y one. Yeah, not the not the newish one, but the the two thousands, uh, the year two thousand one, the pancake one. Yes, and there was an episode where Sabrina, like, they dealt with like addiction by having Sabrina get addicted to pancakes because apparently uh, that's something that's in her genes that like you got know it. she's she becomes a pancake aholic. He was on ER. For a number of years. 58 episodes wow. of ER as Nurse Yash Takata. Okay. Um, he, uh, a bunch of other stuff. He he re- he reprised or reprised his role um, uh, as Long Duck Dong in Family Guy in 2006. Oh, okay. Um, let's see. He was the hotel manager in Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Um, that was set in Hawaii. Uh, he's got a number of TV movies and TV series in the last however many years. So looks like he might be slowing down a bit. Um, he was uh, he's on a TV series. Oh, and lo- looks like it's canceled. Uh, called Bravest Warriors, where he was Hamster Mitch slash tourist alien. So, <laughs> was was he a, a, an animated character? I, the, I Bravest Warriors. Let's find out about. Bravest I'm going to start Warriors. calling Mitch uh, of, uh, of of pinball fame Hamster Mitch. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the, the premise for Bravest Warriors, according to IMDB.com, is four Tino, four, Tino, four, Tino. <laughs> four, four teenage heroes for hire warp through the universe to save adorable aliens and their worlds using the power of their uh, emotions. And Hamster Mitch. <laughs> and Hamster Mitch. Um, okay, so that's yeah. enough. Yeah, so, I mean, you know, he... he it's a pity that Getty Watanabe wasn't part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I no, mean, no. I mean, he might have been one of the few actors that fucking wasn't. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, there's still time. Oh, yeah, so I mean, like, they, they have to fucking start over from scratch now. They, they don't have to start over from scratch. They kind of do. What do you... I, Okay, I right, mean I, certain I, certain like like Guardians, you know, now that James Gunn is back attached to yeah. it, and they have Thor along for the fucking ride. Okay. So spoilers yeah. right out of the fucking <laughs> like I'm not even fucking worrying. Like th- we told them right up the gate. We did spoilers. Oh, we we told them spoilers for Game of Thrones. Did we somewhere just, somewhere in there we said spoilers for just for fucking ending. spoiler fest? It's spoiler, a spoiler fest. fest. Well, we don't know what happens on when this airs. Uh, we don't know what happens on last night's episode of Game. Okay, of Thrones so yet. people are going to be more knowledgeable than us. Although, when do I when do I get to start shitting on Game of Thrones? Um, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know that I really care what happened on on last night's episode. <laughs> Um, I, I may or may not have canceled my HBO subscription at this Are point. Are you fucking kidding me? I, well, you, uh, let's see. Do you want to, do you want to shit oh. on Endgame first? Or I do don't, I, wanna... I didn't dislike Endgame. <laughs> okay. There was one scene that I was kind of a little, like, found okay. to be cringeworthy. All right. Well, so, so I, so I didn't know that. But I honestly, like, thought, so I'm not, I, I, <laughs> ever since last night, I, I finished watching, uh, uh, whatever the episode is called. What was, did Jerry Seinfeld like go on Game of Thrones and you're like, oh, I fucking hate this now. People like things. I need to fucking hate it. No, what I got what I'm surprised you like Marvel. Um what is the what is the actual episode title? I know it's not called I think Winterfell was the the previous one. Is it called The Long Night? Yeah, sure. Right. That sounds like it. It doesn't the, we don't need The to... Long Night as opposed to The Dark Night. It is, it's a Oh, look at the me long night to... returns. Oh my goodness, that that, that long. All right, Chris, what were your gripes? Because night. it was fucking hard well, to see what was fucking happening. I, I, I had the same gripe, but a lot of other cool things happened. I took notes on all of my gripes, just to, just to um, uh, what? Give me the fucking episode. Were you title. watching it on a TV? I was watching it on a TV. Wow. I actually on purpose. The long night. It's called the long night. Um, so uh, yeah, no, I. Uh, Got to be whatever time. Oh, no. Yeah. So I long day at work. I taught my last class of the semester, came home. My kids decided they want to watch a movie at dinner, which I know it's like, oh, OK, then they're never going to sit through all of it. They chose Inside Out, though. So I was happy because I like Inside Out. And then everyone left and it was just me and my mom watching Inside Out. But I wasn't going to stop watching it because I love Inside Out and I wanted to watch the end of it. So did that, went upstairs um, realized there wasn't really any place because I didn't know what was going to happen in the long night yet. I assumed there wasn't going to be any boobies. 
Um, but uh, and there wasn't. And but but I didn't know, and I didn't know how gory the violence would be. Um, so I wasn't. I, 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 I think it was. I could have watched it on the computer, but there was the chance that the girls were going to interrupt me. They had stuff blasting. Steph had stuff blasting. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to go down to the family room. I'm going to do it right. Turn off all the lights. Um, close the door to my parents' get, part get of the, house. the Get the lube and your dick out because oh, nothing. Gosh. Nothing gets me harder than uh, than a bad episode of Game of Thrones. Um, uh, I didn't know it was going to be bad though, so I did have the lube. Out. I just, I had my I, I, in my I, hand. you keep on saying bad, and I disagree with you, and I want to know why you think it was bad. I've got a laundry list. Oh, well, then fucking let's talk about it. <laughs> we got to fill up an entire episode here. No, we don't. <laughs> we, that, we can talk about other things. All right. Um, where, where's my where's my list? Uh, okay. Um, so. Do you want me to start from the beginning? Do you want me to, like? Do you want like an overview of why I didn't like it, or or, or... just fucking? Let's go down your list. Okay. All right. Um, part one. <laughs> why the hell would the Dothraki do that? It's lazy writing. It's it's fucking bullshit. Um, they need to get rid of them, right? I mean, so my my general gripes about the episode um, uh, is that it's incredibly lazy writing. It's terribly boring. Um, the pacing is just it it. And, and it's just, it, that life is out of the fucking room the entire, most of the time. So I have notes here that pretty much every 20 minutes, I wanted to turn it off. Um, so 20 minutes in, 40 minutes in, um, at one hour in. Did you not um, like the Lord of the Rings or anything? No, I like the Lord of the Rings. So. Um, I'm trying to wrap my head around why I had this strong a reaction. And I, so I'll, I'll go down the list. But, you know, the first thing was the, um. Uh, was the Dothraki. So, you know, the Red Woman coming out, um, the opening opening bit is 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 good, right? You know, I, I see what they're going for. Um, although the pacing is... The pacing leaves something to be desired, I think, because we've already had an entire episode of just people waiting to die. And so another 10, 15 minutes of people waiting to die is... I don't know. All right, so I I have an answer to your first question. Why would the Dothraki do that? You Mm -hmm. mean go charging in? Because they're mounted riders, or they're mounted... They're mounted warriors. Yes, but they, they they're they're going to do damage when they're moving. If right. they are in place, if like the fucking zombie horde is fucking there, yeah. they're not going anywhere and they're fucking sitting ducks. So die in battle with my flaming fucking curvy sword or right. die and do nothing. I get it, but from a strategic standpoint, it makes no I I That's why it, you have the mounted riders go fucking first. But <laughs> You know what's going to happen to them is they're going to turn into a bunch of fucking zombie mounted riders and they're all going to come. Don't even use the fucking Dothraki because you're giving these assholes fucking cavalry that they don't have. It's it. All right. So like maybe just not, not get in a battle because like everybody that dies becomes. a. They already knew that. Like this was like a fucking hopeless battle. <laughs> Yes, and that's and they were like, of, "Let's try to fucking hold them off until we can fucking stab the Night King." And this comes to sort of my second point, which is, why are they even try- they? There's no point. They and the episode proves it again and again and again. There's no point. They're going to lose, and then they don't lose, and it's a Deus Ex Machina, and it it just it's very it's it's lazy writing and it's unfulfilling. And Why do you keep on saying it's lazy writing? The Dothraki don't do that. I just, I, I don't buy it. I understand what you're saying, but why would they do that? You've got smart military minds who know that you're just giving fodder, right? So it's just a standard, like, okay, here are the steps of the battle. We send them in and, you know, because this show has been, here's part of why I was so angry about it. This show, for the most part, has been so inventive with the way that it does battles, right? So like things happen in these battles that I am not expecting. And with this, it was just like every beat of every damn like swords and sorcery battle that I've ever seen. And and I just, it felt hopeless. And that's what you were supposed to feel. But it I was d- a hopeless battle. Okay, but I don't need an hour and a half of hopeless. 
I don't need. I don't need half. shitty people that are yelling at each other on a television. It, don't fucking watch it, Chris. It's just like Jesus I, Christ. I. But you don't. Oh. Like, like I. I think the, the show and the only. But way that I can hate this episode as much as I did. And hate's too strong a word. You're like, I'm going to cancel HBO and not watch the fucking rest of the series because well, of this get fucking to, one I want to get to that because the, the other big objection that I have to it, and and then I, I want to save the, the part that you, um, that I think you wanted to talk about, uh, the comparison between, because that part, the actual moment of, well, I don't know why I'm dancing around. The actual yeah. moment of Arya doing what Arya does is one of the best moments ever. I, you I, mean Getty. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that I love that moment. Okay, so maybe this is important for me to to step back. So A, I love the show, right? Um, I'm not gonna cancel HBO. That was, that was me goofing. Um, but I was really disappointed in the episode. Um, so the Arya bit, absolutely just, Fantastic. Um, we joked about we joked about Bran saying that to Theon um, about him being a good man. Like I I love I, I I hated Theon and then I hated Theon even more. And then you know you see what happens to Theon when he uh, what was it, what did, what's his ass call him when he um when he cut off his dick and made him basically a reek reek. Yeah. So when Theon becomes reek, I suddenly am I'm I'm I I thought that part. I mean, it redeemed him enough for me. And then that he came back from it. So I like, I grew to like Theon over time. So I love those moments. Um, uh, I think the um, the general conceit of, of of setting up John to look like he's going to chop off the dragon's head, right? And, and then, in fact, it's Arya that comes out of nowhere. I love that part. Um, so... I what, think, what about Arya in the library? Did you like... Oh, the, yes. Ar everything Arya in this episode, fantastic. And that's a lot of the fucking episode. But, it, but, it, it, but this is what I'm saying. This, the, I feel like... I don't know. I wonder in like an earlier season, right, where the special effects budget wasn't what it is now, where they're basically... They've basically been given like six full-length movies worth of... For a TV, sh for a TV series, right? I wonder if they would have done some of the same stuff or if they would have done more of what we get with Arya. Because what we get with Arya is so good that the rest of it just feels... It, yeah, the rest of it feels less, less than to me. And and you mentioned the the in the dark thing. that That is a pet peeve of mine. I tried to get over it. And, you know, in any other situation where I wasn't disappointed by other things, I might have gotten over it. Because I just think... In, fighting in the dark, even when it makes sense because of who you're talking about fighting, um, is is really just a, a lazy person's way out of of doing realism. Like it, it also I hate zombies. Like zombies do nothing for me. So, um, but the the big thing that that um, yeah, the big thing that that really bummed me out about the episode is that. The, and and I watched the the directors talking about it um, afterwards. Is, is that um, that Podrick survived? Did Pod survive? I mean, the part of part of what it, you know, it, I have no idea who survived. And, and maybe pa that Podrick and his enormous penis <laughs> is alive still, and he's just um, basically making you feel like a cuck from from just existing. <laughs> no, I I don't have any problem with Pod and his enormous penis. All right. No, so how many episodes in this season? Is it, is it six? Is it seven? I think there's six or six? seven. I don't know. There's probably okay. three more. Yeah. Um, so, you know, as I thought about that afterwards, I found myself thinking, well, maybe this makes a little bit more sense. But the thing that really bothered me was how anticlimactic it felt when viewed from like the the long distance like i said the actual moment and every part of aria's story and and that aria gets that moment is enormously satisfying but viewed through the full lens of the series it i just can't help but feel like they 
they either didn't know what the hell to do with the Night King. They 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 had created, and this is why I said Deus Ex Machina. They had created a problem that nobody can solve, right? Um, and so they just kept building up the threat and building up the threat and building up the threat, and they're like, I, I don't know. And they didn't have any ideas um, about how to raise the stakes gradually um, in this season. It, but maybe they have different plans. I, I think this also could be a an episode that I look at a very different way once I see what the last three episodes are. Because when... Well, there's he, probably going to be another battle either next week or the week after. So but it, how is it'll it be in daylight, so I think you'll like it more. <laughs> but here's the thing. How is it important? It's not as important as what they just did. And, right. And... So now it's like, why do I need three more episodes? Because if you, if you said that I'm going to get one more episode, okay. The, but like, this felt like that was what they were building to as the big moment, big climactic moment of the show. And they just sort of like, here you go. And I, I just so don't. The, there's going to be another battle, but there's also going to be like, I think perhaps people butting heads about should we even bother going down there for Cersei? And I, well, yeah. I mean, and, and the, the next part that irked, I was like, I don't want it. I don't care about Cersei. Like, <laughs> like, I don't care about her at all. Like, they just fought for the entire damn world, and now you're going to tell me that I'm supposed to care about that bitch down in, like, I don't. Well, I mean, Daenerys wants to be the queen. Like, I know. There's no, there's no question about <laughs> but that, that's like her like, motivation. She's like, I've been waiting to fucking come back here and right. do this shit for forever. We took care of that fucking ice zombie. Let's yeah. go do my thing now. But I feel like they, they, and I, I'd be curious to see if George R.R. R. Martin lives long enough to finish the damn series, what decisions he'll make. I feel like they've got it wrong. I feel like they've got the order. I mean, and I understand what they're doing. So, like, yeah, they get decimated. So now Cersei stands a, a chance. Right. Um, but it's, I don't know. I, I just, I don't understand how this was the midpoint of this season and not, like, episode five. Or, ep like, episode four. A fan, or uh, A New Hope? <laughs> It would have been nice to have any hope in this episode. It just was so bleak. Yes. Um, and I just... So you asked me about Lord of the Rings, right? Um, and I'm trying to remember how I felt about the Two Towers, right? Um, because the Two Towers is the one that feels the bleakest. Yeah, because like they, they fucking breach the walls. They're basically there. And then like... White Gandalf comes and fucking <laughs> shines a beam of light and is yeah. like, fuck all you guys, you're all dead. Like, magically. So I wonder, I don't think I was keeping... Th there was, you know, like, it was It was definitely more realistic, and mm. therefore I like that more, like Game of Thrones more in that vein, because, like, it's a person doing a thing, not a magic wizard just, you know, being like, beam! But... But it, there are a bunch of people being magic wizards the yeah, entire episode. So, yes, but episode. like the, 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 you know, the red woman lights fucking swords on fire and lights like mm -hmm. the, the fucking... And that basically barriers exa exhausts her magic. And that, I, I, that was all right. I thought that, you know, um, that was a good end to her journey. Although she just shows up out of nowhere after... Well, I mean, she saw it in her little fucking... Like, when she was talking to Stannis in fucking season three, like... Right, but it, I I feel like they're... I don't know, I just... The build-up to, to the end of this episode leaves just a lot to be desired. I... I mean, there was there was some bonehead things. The, there was, um, like, them chasing after the fucking Night King on the dragons. They should have just sat with the dragons mm. near fucking Bran and yeah. just fucking waited. Now, you watched it live. So yes. did they play... Um, did they play the director, like, five, ten-minute thing after the live... Uh, they probably didn't, but we didn't watch it because we okay. were fucking tired. Yeah. So because I tend to watch them... Um, I don't know how many times I've actually watched it live. I tend to watch them the next day. Um, there's always that sort of a uh, little bit attached at the end along with the trailer. Uh, Is that why the, you're more mad you heard what the director was trying to do? Well, I mean, I think that that did irk me 
at the end. You know, they have a um, they have a line where they they talk about how you know just a bunch of battle can get boring very quickly. And I wrote, "Yep," and because I don't. That's why he put that fucking scene of like Arya in the library. I know, but I don't think I don't I don't get any moments with. I mean, after the actual battle starts, I, you know, I, I, we, I guess we, we need to know that, that Brienne is still alive. We need to know that, but I feel like they cut to them kind of out of necessity and they don't give them any character moments, right? So like, um, Jorah gets character moments, um, because Jorah is, he, because he's gonna die. Yeah, <laughs> they're they're building up to it. Yeah, the but, folks the folks that die got a little bit more than the folks right. that didn't, and maybe and, and, and Arya got a lot because Arya was gonna have yeah. that moment. But I almost I almost wish they except for that fucking guy that was like the Night's Watch that was the first guy to die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's just like dead. Yeah, <laughs> you got nothing and um, like it. <laughs> no. Yeah. Well, he. I mean, they they kind of um, they at least brought see. They at least reminded us he was around in the last couple of episodes. Just whereas so the red you woman, be like, whereas the red woman just comes out of nowhere. Well, because she got her. kicked out. I know, but if you're, why didn't I mean? And I understand it's probably the the actor. They only had her for so many days or whatever. But like, why not give us a little bit? And maybe she, maybe just wasn't any of her story until this. I just would have loved to have seen and been reminded. Oh, this person is still around. And maybe, you know, if you're binge watching this a few years from now, like, it, uh, when did, it, did she last show up at the end of last season? It was the Battle of the Bastards. Okay, so it's not... So the, she, like, she was... She's which, there and then she leaves. She was on, you know, Stannis' side, obviously. And then right. Stannis fucking... Like, wait, was it before the Battle of the... Like, Stannis attacks Winterfell with fucking... I forget. Not Stannis. Stannis uh, what's his butt? It's not Stannis who attacks Winterfell, because Stannis is... Who's fucking... Like, because wh- Stannis dies in that battle, doesn't um, he? Who is it that's... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, it's... What's his butt? It was, I thought it was Ramsay. Oh, no, Ramsay has Winterfell yeah. at that point. Okay, yeah. So St- Stannis is with Jon? I guess. Yeah. But... Um, or no. I, I don't even fucking know. Like, I don't know, but so she shows up around there, Or and does, then... does Stannis attack Winterfell before Jon gets there? Because Stannis dies. That's right. Yep. Stannis is dying in the woods. And then doesn't Brienne take him out? Maybe. Or it's 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 alluded to that. that yeah, has... something like that. Yeah. I don't know. So all I'm saying is is she. I think if you view it if you view it through the lens of multiple seasons, it probably hasn't been that many episodes since she last showed up. Right. Um, so if you had watched like the last season, I think you yeah, probably would have seen. Yeah, and then bridged seen... right into this. It, you know, there would have been a few few episodes without the Red Woman, and now she's back. Yeah, that's a, that's a good point. Uh, and that is is part of like you can't be helped of the fact that it's been so long since the last season aired. Um, no, it could have been helped. They could have started shooting earlier. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. So I I just I. I mean, if the story was finished being written, maybe that would, right, right. would have been help to George R. R. Martin. <laughs> thanks. I just, I, I thought, I don't know that I was ever like that invested in the the Night King thing, and then they made me realize how important it was as the seasons went on, as their uh, effects budget got better and they could afford to do it right. Um, and then they made me really invested, and then. It's just over, and I try to picture like. Are what... you are you in your post ejaculation phase right now, Chris? <laughs> you see Arya stab the fucking thing, and and everything disintegrates, and yeah. then you 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 got cum all over your belly, <laughs> and you you feel shame for having spent seven seven seasons of, the, of watching the show. Right? No, I I just you're just walking down the streets of King's Landing naked. Yeah. So when we were a couple minutes ago, when we were talking about um, Two Towers, what I was trying to remember is like, it, would I have written something about my reaction to Two Towers at the time? Because I like Two Towers now. Um, so I don't, I wonder, did I not like it at the time? Because if you really think about it, 
Two Towers. Look at me trying to convince myself that that it's a good episode. You're, you're rubbing off on me. Mm. Um, the uh, you're not rubbing off on me. That sounds bad, given what comes you're just in handy. <laughs> um, but I wonder, you know, if you look back at the sort of structure of the Lord of the Rings films, Two Towers is, but it's not quite the same thing. The, you know, they're not fighting Sauron in um, the Two Towers. Right? Like, they they is, never actually fight him. Well, they're not fighting Sauron's legions. They're not fighting like they're not in the end game, <laughs> in in the middle. And here they are in the middle, and they've already won. And now it's just back to like I just don't. And maybe I should have more faith in them, but I just don't see how there's three episodes of story left. Um, I feel like this could have been. Two episodes. Well, th- there's definitely going to be. I think maybe this coming week will be mm-hmm. the the march to to King's Landing to to go to go back down south and take out Cersei. Yeah, and then the battle, episode two of the last three, mm-hmm. and then the aftermath. Yeah, I mean, I guess I can see that. It's it's just they're gonna win, right? Like. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? They're gonna. Win. They might piss everybody off and have her win. <laughs> they're not, Cersei's not gonna win. It's it, like it, they're they're doing mainstream. Um, they're doing mainstream storytelling. Cersei's not gonna win. So it's just a matter of how is Cersei going to lose, and, and how many people are going to die in the process. Yeah. Um, yes. And you know who is it going to be? Danny? Is it going to be John? Is gonna be fucking Arya. Um, <laughs> such, well, Arya would have no. Arya would have no interest. Yeah. Well, no interest one and no no claim. Yeah. Unless everyone else is dead. <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> um, uh, the other thing, the other the other angle on this, I wanted to speak to, um, if you'll permit me, because I've been talking too much. I can I've tell been you. permitting a lot, Chris. Um, uh, is. I've been off social media for over a week now. Has it been helping you? It's been helping me a lot. Um, But what what day would it have been that I saw this? So the one thing I have looked at is YouTube. Um, And uh, I don't tend to get spoiled by, by YouTube because I don't subscribe to a lot of things or watch a lot of things that would spoil it for me. The things that I subscribe to are, are very careful to say spoilers and to leave it at that. But something popped up in my feed um, on sometime between Monday and uh, Friday when I when I watched the episode that talked about uh, how they'd been leading up to the Arya twist since, like, whatever. And so this really speaks to the, the sort of poison of spoilers you either got to just fully spoil yourself or not spoil yourself because seeing something like that makes you watch this episode and go what's the twist like and i wouldn't call what happened a twist i mean and and so that person's choice of words really recontextualized how i watched the entire episode because i'm like is she gonna be a some sort of weird magic is it is she not her she's one of the people that put the faces on like that was What's the uh, fucking twist, and, and 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 I get that it's a misdirect. You're supposed to, and the directors talk about this in that that little making of. They talk about that you're you're supposed to be paying attention to so many other people that you forget where Arya's gone. Um, I don't know. So yeah, I was really mad I mean, that I saw that headline. There was like, there was Becky had a theory which mm. which um, I, I think it was pretty good, but that like maybe she and Brand had a quick conversation. She's mm. like, uh, I'm just gonna murder you, and take your face, and then I'm gonna be sitting in your <laughs> fucking wheelchair, and Night King's gonna be like strolling up. Hey, I'm here to kill you, Brand, or whatever the fuck I want to yeah. do with the fucking three eyed raven. She's like, No, sorry, buddy. <laughs> yeah. What What do you think Brand was doing with the with the raven? I don't know. I don't know what his fucking deal is. And there's theories going around that he is the Night King out of time. Okay. That's interesting. Yeah. Um, I, so it, I, I really 
spent too much time because I heard the word twist before I watched the episode trying to decide speaking of out of time I was like are they trying to imply that Arya and the red woman like that Arya is the red woman but a younger version of the red woman and the red woman's a time traveler or something like and obviously I don't I, that's not what what it was but but I, I'm like sitting there watching the whole scene and then she says when did they see each other before um, um, when Gendry got taken by... Oh, okay. When, yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I, I couldn't remember when they had had a conversation before. Um, and, uh, so I like that interaction. In hindsight, everything with Arya gets better and better the more I think about it. But in so hindsight, more than half the episode is great. And but the other half of the episode just, it, it really... I mean, the, me the, the, and... the, the, the dipshittery of them hiding in the crypt. Mm. I'm like, okay, yeah. yeah, the guy that brings dead people back, like, you're just going to hide where all the dead people are, yeah. <laughs> like, in, 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 that's... in Winterfell. Yeah. Surprised more people didn't die down there. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, uh, that... I guess part of it, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a horror person. You, you watched uh, Walking Dead for a long time, Yeah. Yeah, I gave up on it because yeah. it was just like the characters that I gave a shit about mm. were, were all basically dead. Yeah. Which is like, you know, there's plenty of characters I care about on Game of Thrones still. Right. And right. there's only a couple of episodes left. The Walking Dead seems to never fucking end. Yeah. And then it's just like, ugh. And then yeah. everybody like, I mean, that was that, there was a little bit of bad decision making here and there. Well, like, you know, as far as like leaving Bran uh, mm. like in chasing after the, the dragon night King, whatever fucking yeah. nonsense. The directors try to make that a thing about how, um, uh, Daenerys fucking Danny can't st- like the, 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 the Dothraki are, are her people and that she can't stand to see them slaughtered. And so that, is that why she fucking, and that's why like, she gets on the dragon and, and, and makes makes up their plan. Okay. Yeah. That, that, that's their explanation for it. Um, and I, Get then it? I would say that is bad writing. And so that's what I'm saying. Like, I get that that's what they're doing, but it's all predicated going back to my very first point on the Dothraki doing the charge, which I know is what the Dothraki would want to do. Right. But if you supposedly have all these brilliant military minds, I just think you, there's a different way. And I don't know what it is because I'm not a brilliant military mind. So, I mean, I, I think, you know, they should have maybe waited a little bit longer before they went charging and maybe like they have more of the fucking flying mortars or whatever, the f- flaming, yeah. flaming shit. F- shoot that shit at them for a little while. And then when there's light over there and you figure out where your fucking enemy is, yeah. then you send the fucking like mounted right. troops. Yeah. it's it, But, you know, that, I mean, because the, visually their charge is fucking fantastic because of the points that you just raised. They got their flaming swords. I mean, they take care of one of my major problems with night battles, which is they light they they have so much light for a scene that's taking place at night because they've all got flaming swords. They got the things flying overhead. It. I had. I mean, as much as I was like, why are they doing this? It's just a gorgeous looking scene. And, so yeah, you're liking it more and more every minute, you fuck. No, I. but the things I hate, I really hate. Because I liked that in the moment. I was like, holy shit, this is visually... But why are they fucking charging? They're all going to turn into zombies in 10 seconds. Like, it's stupid. He didn't, like, apparently he needed to fucking do a thing to make it happen. It's not like that was happening instantly. Like mm. the Night King needed to be like, "Hey, it's me. I'm gonna fucking do a magic. He's gonna thing. raise the roof. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm raise gonna do dip. my necromancy, yeah. and then now, like everybody's fucking after you. He, he, like apparently that took something out of him to do that. Right. Well, I mean, it doesn't take that long. The lights go out. They're all waiting there, and everything comes charging back. Um, I just and and because they also the writers also basically admit that. You know, they're doing that to screw everything up because Danny would stay right there. If it were any other force, I feel like she would stay up there in the dragon. She'd 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 stick to the plan. But it's the Dothraki and the Dothraki are her people. And- I mean, it would have been better if there was actually a line of dialogue that, that yeah. instead of her just going like yeah. then you at least know why. Yeah, yeah, and 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 I mean, I think that they built 
the fact that they had um, John and Danny have the conversation in the previous episode is great because it does set up that they wouldn't speak to each other that much. But I agree with you that like, even if they're not going to speak to each other that much and they're kind of having problems, like they've got give us something. Yeah. I, 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 that, I mean, that was, I think bonehead on John's part because mm-hmm. like, you know, he, he fucking just should have been like, all right, mm. I fucked my aunt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to I'm going to deal with this until after the fucking battle right. and then once that's over we'll fucking have a chat. Yeah. But instead <laughs> you put some fucking bonkers shit in her brain. Right. Ah oh, fuck, I, I fucked, fucked my, my nephew. nephew. <laughs> um okay, so so I talked way too long. I want to hear about your uh, and I mean, you can, we can talk about Endgame uh, to whatever extent it takes to bring up the point that you want. To All right. So I got to know, uh, you, you saw it more than once. Uh, Endgame. Yes. Yeah. I saw Endgame so so um, I'm the, the part that I missed was mm. when they when Rocket took the goo out of Natalie Portman. I, that was the part that I missed the first time too. Okay. Yeah. It's and and is that scene like was that was that something like that I No, when I when I wa- watched it the second time, I was like that's it. That's all I <laughs> because it's so and even though Natalie Portman isn't technically in the movie. Well, she's in that scene. So and that's the thing. So she gets credit in the end credits, and so that was the part. So the first time I watched it. So is she like actually acting in this movie? Well, this that's what I can't tell. Is she's in it, but is that footage from the last movie she did that? And they then just, like Rocket, like because like is there like a well Rocket is so, Rocket. It's a computer, so they could have put him anywhere. <laughs> right, and, and so the the actual, Rocket's a computer. <laughs> So, so just to provide kind of the when I watched it the first time, I was not I I tried to be a good boy and not drink anything. Um, I didn't drink anything beforehand, but I did drink stuff during the movie. So at that point, I had to get up and run to the bathroom. And I was like, as a writer, I was like, this scene is not gonna. There, there. It's uh, Thor and Frigga are talking. Um, you know, it's like I I know what's gonna happen. They're gonna have a heart to heart. She's gonna you know. Whatever. This is the only place in the movie I'm going to be able to go pee. So I got up, ran out, went, went to go pee. When I came back in, Rocket's running down the hallway saying that he's got it. And I figured, well, that's that's so, a cheap way. That's of, about where I like. I think we peed at the exact same pe- time, <laughs> a few days apart, or not a day apart. Um, or what you we no, saw no. it on Saturday morning. Okay, so like a day and a half apart. Yeah. I saw it on Thursday night. Uh, um, so. Yeah, so I came back in, I saw that, and I was like, okay, so that's how they got around not being able to get Natalie Portman, was my thought. And then the credits rolled, and Natalie Portman gets a fucking credit. Like, not just, like, in... Well, they're not They're not gonna, like, fucking... But I'm saying, not just in, like, the scrolling credits, but she got, like, Natalie Portman in big letters across the entire screen. I was like, where the fuck was Natalie Portman? Was there... So the first time I watched it, I was like, it, I missed a whole Natalie Portman scene? I was like... And so the second time I watched it, I'm sitting there. I'm like, I'm definitely watching because I got to see what Natalie Portman is is doing. And it's basically it's a scene of her getting out of a, out of bed. Like she, so she sits up. Rocket pops up behind the couch or whatever that she's sitting on. I think you might see him with whatever vial or whatever, and then it cuts. It's like so, it's she has no lines. It could just be a complete out so they don't even from- actually show him like no. extracting goo or whatever nope. the fuck <laughs> just just enough of a moment to like to be like yep this is happening this is happening and then so um yeah i i do i want to call that there i think there is i'm sure there's lazy writing in there because the first the first time uh through i left and i was like i liked it and I was I was like, because you know. missed that scene. <laughs> no, no. But so anyway, I don't know if I want to call that scene lazy writing, but like, you know, that, that movie that movie had its its issues too. I I enjoyed it um, a lot. But. I like how they like um, at the at the beginning or it's closer to the beginning when when uh, Tony Stark is is making fun of Ant Man for his fucking Back to the Future theories, <laughs> yes. and that's basically what the fuck is happening <laughs> in the fucking yeah. movie. <laughs> 
<laughs> See, I, one of the things that I, I walked out of there, and I do want to get to, because I, I, you haven't told me what, what point you wanted to make, but based on what you kind of told me last week without spoiling anything, I, I, I know where you're getting at. So I definitely want to get to that. All right. So um, there, and, I, 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 there's a scene at the end. And let me just preface this with, I know who it's for. Okay. I understand. like the, At the end that, of Endgame. Yeah, yeah, at the end of Endgame, mm-hmm. I understand who this is for. Yeah. But it was just like, ugh. It just felt weird to me <laughs> okay. when it was when Captain Marvel shows up at the uh-huh. very end. And I, I forget which character it was, but mm. it was like, don't worry, we got our back. And it's all the lady characters <laughs> together. And they all just somehow get into the fucking frame. Right. And they're... Yeah. It's just I'm like okay I get it I get it but ugh. so when when <laughs> when when we saw each other to record last week's episode I had we'd both seen Endgame you had seen um, Game of Thrones the Game of Thrones episode we were just talking about but I hadn't so you in my comparison tried to say it was yeah go ahead my comparison would be like you know you have like this this. You know, female empowerment stuff and cool, yeah. yeah. And, you know, little girls watching the Marvel movie are going to enjoy it. And right. that's great. I like that. That's cool. Yeah. But but just like me is just like, eh. Like, <laughs> it's just okay, fine, right. whatever. This is fucking, mm-hmm. eh. But with Arya yeah. stabbing the Night King, coming out out of the fucking darkness. Yeah. Going to stab, getting her arm caught, dropping the fucking dagger, and then boom, yeah, shattering. I fucking had my arm up in the air, and I was fucking cheering. <laughs> As you should be. So Now, like that, I'm like, there's a woman doing something fucking awesome, and I think that's amazing. Have you... I want. I want to ask you a question because I've talked too much, and I. But I have. I have thoughts. So, have you done any investigating of why you found? Any, any self-analysis of why... Because I think there's a real legit reason of why you found the Marvel one cringy. Yeah. And I think there's a real legit reason, but I want to hear what you, you have to say. I don't, I don't know. Like, uh, maybe... I, I just... I don't know. Okay. It just... It just... It, it just... It's like, here's your fucking empowerment. Eat it. <laughs> eat it! And I'm just like, oh, okay, I, yeah. I'll, I'll eat it. <laughs> so... Um, but with fucking Arya, I'm like... And they're like, everything's fucking doomed. We're all right. fucked. And then last second, stabity dab. And I'm like, yay. <laughs> so the, like, the, the real legit. Sorry, I don't want to cut you no, off. No, no, that's okay. fine. Okay. The, um, the legit story reason why I would think, and you can please tell me if you think I'm right or wrong, why I think you would react that way. Aside from. And just, it, also oh, another point is yeah. that with, with Arya, mm. um, I have been following this character and have loved this character right. since the very beginning. And so I like am rooting for her to, to exactly. fucking succeed. But with Captain Marvel and, you know, some of the other characters that might have been helping her out. Right. I like I have not as had as much exposure to them. Like one film for for Captain Marvel and then the rest just kind of like, well, little bits here and there. Like, hey, there's Evangeline Lilly, too. She's the wasp. (laughs) So you you are you you made the point that I was going to make. Right. Which is that. and, and what I said to you last week was, yeah, that move, that moment is in there for fan service, right? Um, but the moment, I think they could have, I was happy to see it, right? Um, I think they could have held it for a future movie. Um, and, and in that sense, one of the things that that movie, that Endgame is... Um, or maybe not just have them all just fucking be there in the, like the well, one but, shot. Like, just like, she's fucking fighting them off and then like... You know, somebody, you know, don't worry, we'll back her up. And then, like, then, like, you know, what happens directly after that, like, mm. ladies coming in and fucking helping her out. I, without that, sh- that that one shot where it's like, you know, which I guess you, it's well, cool. It's a, com- it, it's a comic book movie. Yes. It, it, Rob and Life that's felt- why, like, I keep on, like, I'm <laughs> juggling with, like, I don't like it, but I get it. Like, right. 
So it, Rob Liefeld, um, the, the the comic book artist who can't draw feet, um, he came out and said his reaction to Endgame was that, that and, and he he said he meant this in the most positive way possible. What is was that it was the most comic booky comic book movie ever. And so that what you get and like having say, something like that is the like right out of the page of a comic. Yeah, it's, book. It's, and it's I a, get it. It's a but page. <laughs> but you're not wrong. Because and here's why I think they should have saved it because that moment in a couple of movies or like four or five movies from now would be a very different moment. I'm not saying it would get you pumping your fist, right. but your point about Arya is exactly the point. You've spent eight seasons watching Arya like grow and grow and grow to be, for, from, you know, even before she sees her father's head cut off. Right. Like she's already Arya. And then like to take a, to take a kid who has been training, who's been thinking like about violence in one way. And now she sees it and then, follow the whole damn journey yes fist pump yes Absolutely. i f- legit had my arm in the air and i think i said yes but like very loudly that moment in endgame it doesn't even feature black widow right and black widow is the only character that, that we we've had yeah we've had for 10 years so they have a similar moment in infinity war and i'm curious how you felt about that because there's a moment where uh, Proxima Midnight, the 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 uh, blue bad girl who's on Thanos' side, is about to try and kick the shit out of uh, Scarlet Witch, mm-hmm. and Black Widow is there, and Okoye is there, and it's just the three I, of them. It, that see, I don't know why that didn't bother me. Maybe because it was just the three of them. Well, it, it's just the three of them. It and has Black Widow, who you've known for the, a long time, and it, and Okoye is a more well disturb, uh, well established character from her one movie than than any of the others. Right. Right. Um, yeah. So and I, like, it's just like, I mean, you know, yeah, I, I get it. I get yeah. it. I get it. I'm, I'm not like, if you, if you think that I'm, I'm hating on women, then go no, fuck I yourself. I, no, I'm not. I'm just saying yeah, to yeah. any it, sort of listeners out there that would try to say that I'm fucking, no, I, I, I'm not woke or whatever. Like, I get it. I understand who, who's, who, who it was for. I understand it's a comic book movie, but I just, it, like, I, I it, it, it just, it just bugged me. And I, it, the enough that I needed to talk about it more yeah, than once. No, no. I mean, <laughs> it, it, and and when it's compared with a mo- with a moment that is so authentic, I think I think that part of the other part that you might be chafing against, and and it'd be curious to hear their sort of director's commentary um, or interviews with them once uh, once the movie's been out for a while. Because I think there's an inauthent... That's not a word, inauthenticity. There's a lack of authenticity in that moment. Too. I love the moment because I love comic books. And right. sometimes comic books have inauthentic moments. So there was a... When they were still filming, there was a still image that got put out of all of those ladies... Um, it, some of them in costume, some not in costume. Um, and it went out into social media and it blew up. Mm-hmm. And so I wonder, given how CG heavy, you know, that movie is, if they saw how the reaction to that, especially on the, if like Disney saw it, you know, whether they're like maybe we need to put this in and maybe we can put this in. And, and I respect that. Again, I respect the, the 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 desire to do that, <laughs> but you're making a movie that I don't know what what how much money it made, or it, but it blew away all sorts of box office. You're making a movie for the masses. Yeah, not all of them are going to have seen this thing on social media. The geeks saw it on social media. The geeks, you know, thump, gave it a thumbs up and whatever. And now you're like, let's shoehorn this moment in to this movie. Because it may be our only chance to get all of these people together. I, I don't know. Um, maybe it was in the script from from the very beginning, but I I doubt it. Whereas when the directors of Game of Thrones talk about having this in mind for Arya for years, I believe it. Like I don't I don't think that that came out of their ass. I think they they knew, or they're really good at convincing me <laughs> that they knew that Arya was going to be the person to do this for a long time. So. Uh... <laughs> Another thing, like the th- a thing that I really liked prior to that that scene altogether mm. was that it was just like you know three of the original Avengers basically mm. fighting Thanos. Yeah, 
Yep. Like, yeah. no, just was... like three on one, like this guy's fucking really powerful and they're yeah. fucking battling their asses off for it. <laughs> Another thing <laughs> that, that bugged me, mm. why does, you, why do you need to snap? Yeah. That, it, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, like that's what releases the magic of the stones you snap your fingers and then boom magic yeah. happens i mean that you is just put the fucking thing on and then magic <laughs> yeah that is definitely a um i don't know see you know there's all sorts of ways you can try to explain explain it but none of them are that satisfying i think it, they, like they they sort of latched onto that because yeah. like he's like i could eliminate half the universe with the, the snap, snap of my, my fingers. fingers and so he does that but right. then you're like okay we got to reverse it let's yeah so now everybody got to do that again <laughs> yeah so there end up being three uh four i don't know yeah three um th- successful snaps and one uh, unsuccessful snap by Thanos. So yeah, like, Thanos snaps, uh, uh, Hulk snaps, um, Thanos tries to snap, and Tony snaps. So it's like, that's too many snaps. But like, like the, the fact that... <laughs> <I> just... <laughs> typing all those snaps. <laughs> too many... No, I'm just... Too, uh, too many, many snaps. snaps. <laughs> too many snaps. But like, the that battle, I think, was more important. Mm. And I, like, they... Just the, the the fucking giant CG fucking robot or whatever mm. fucking creatures coming out like that like I mean we had that last movie yeah yeah like we, we didn't need that for this one um, which is which is why like all that other like the, like everybody like I mean there were like the the big like his big helper folks. Mm. Like those folks could have been the ones chasing after the gauntlet. Well, like every, like the rest oh, are right. fighting Thanos, yeah. mm-hmm. and like or so that would have been like them going after Captain Marvel, whoever is, or Peter or whoever is yeah. the fucking whoever has the gauntlet. Good point. Instead yeah, no, of just like a fucking mishmash of like nonsense like, yeah. that's hard to see. Yeah, especially no, I, if you're watching it in 3D like we were. Oh, oh gosh, I I, I hate watching those things in 3D. They, that 3D ruined my experience too many times. Um. They, yeah, no, I mean, I have the same complaints about that, about Endgame versus Infinity War. I, I, I don't know what it is about, because I, I, I did write an article about this back in 2012 when Avengers came out, um, that it was so refreshing that the battle took place during daylight. Like, just because every superhero movie, every what, it, it, like, you gotta wait till night, and that's when, and, and it, it for so long was just to mask that you couldn't do the CG. Mm-hmm. And I know that that's not the case with, with any of these things anymore. Maybe it's a little bit with Game of Thrones because they have, you know, I'm sure they have a huge budget, but they but have not, like... But not fucking Disney, bu- <laughs> Disney bucks. But, I, it, but they also have six, uh, not six full length because the first couple were shorter, but they have like somewhere in the vicinity of like five to six movies to make. Yeah. So it, they do have to mask some things where like the darkness is going to help them. Um, I mean, to, I, uh, go ahead. So like, I, I believe in a thing called love is going to help them. <laughs> I didn't want to go high pitched. Oh God! I, I... <laughs> so yeah, like not like like uh, the. I mean, I haven't seen either of them, but the complaints of uh, uh, that people have had uh, of uh, Aquaman uh, and the praise that I mean, I'm going DC here, like mm. uh, that Shazam got. Okay. Yeah, I haven't like, seen either. Of them. Aquaman I... was like fucking CG shit. Yeah, like CG giant fucking underwater battle, right? Craziness, and like a lot of people are like, "Yeah," but like Shazam comes out, obviously has less of a budget, right. and does a more personal movie, and a lot of people are like, "Wow, that was great!" Right? It's it I, it's got to be not not that you know I I didn't think there was going to be CG fucking kicky punchy time, mm-hmm. like stabby I, I think... shooty nonsense, but I wish. I wish we were past the part where people just wanted to let the uh, the visual arts companies show off. Like, like it, like nobody. I don't know. Like somebody cares. You know, people go to see Fast and the Furious movies, um, but, and uh, but they're they're you know with those movies, it's at least you know somebody driving a or like pretend driving a car yeah, and like yeah. there's like you know some crazy shit jumping off a bridge or whatever. And that's like a one shot. Not like it's a billion aliens coming at me. 
people, I mean, I guess a better example would be people go to see the Transformers movies, uh, despite how shitty they are. Um, well, apparently and, the most recent one, Bumblebee, wasn't bad. I have, I have heard the same thing. I will, I might watch that one when I can watch it for free somewhere. <laughs> or or if, if you don't it, cancel, cancel your HBO. Yeah. Well, no, I'm going to cancel my HBO after Game of Thrones is over. But, okay. Um, uh, well, just I'm glad, I'm glad I turned you around, no. Chris. <laughs> no, I mean, I want to see how it ends. I just, I, it was, I was so taken aback. It just it, I can't fathom how that moment. I don't know. It's it like I just I thought they were building towards something way more. I don't know. And and the thing is, it, I, I, we're 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 over an hour, so we can wrap up whenever you want. The, okay. the thing is, is that the um, there are so many moments, but they're all crammed in to the, and I just wait. I, I don't know because I guess timeline wise, you got to finish with this. You you laid it out pretty clearly what's going to happen in the last three episodes. I, I'd be surprised I mean, if you're that far off. Yeah. Um. But like, the moment where um, Dro- is it and Drogon? then Frodo's going to go to Valinor. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but the moment where it, I, I whatever the, I think it's Drogon. The moment when the dragon breathes fire on the Night King and it does and nothing. it doesn't do anything. That's a fucking moment. Like that should almost be like the end of an episode moment, but it's just another moment in this episode. And maybe what I'm having a hard time grasping is that this was longer. This is a movie. And so it was going to have more of those big beats. Um, I mean, like yeah. I, if you just got to put everything into perspective, Chris, like mm-hmm. I, I had a, a uh, an hour and a half all company meeting. Mm hmm. And um, it was definitely a lot less interesting. <laughs> <laughs> do we have to do any of the other? Because I mean, we could just end it right there. But we haven't. <laughs> you can find the show notes for this episode at clarkwoods.com slash hot slash 235. Um, and if you would like to rant and rave at me for having absolutely no taste... <laughs> I, um, I, I like I, and, and speak in defense of see, so, no, like I, I think the reason why I was a little more heated at the beginning of our conversation is mm. you kept on saying it was a bad episode. And, and I, I, there may have been parts of it that were bad, but mm. like on the whole, you liked things in it. <laughs> so to say that it's bad is, yeah. I think, disingenuous. Uh, OK, I was I would. But. If, okay, so if it also listeners, if you would like to to preach at me about being less disingenuous, you can you can do any of that uh, by sending an email to hot at clarkwoods.com. Right? That's perfect. Let's yeah. get out of here. If I could armpit fart, I'd fart us out. Okay. You want you sure you don't want to try? No, I told you I said if. If. Not when. Da-na, da-na. No, no, I don't I don't want to do that. That, that. That's not how it ends. Don't, what's the what's the ending part? Don't let it end. <laughs> <laughs>